Hey y'all, first things first. Listen, if you want a really, really solid walkthrough tutorial on how to use intent-based branding in your business so you can sell more stuff while being really, really cool to people and building a great brand at the same time, go to kernclass.com. I don't even need your email address. I put up a really solid 23-minute tutorial for you there. You can just go and watch it at your leisure. kernclass.com, it's good. I think you'll dig it. So, a couple years ago, all right, uh, damn, it was like five years ago. I took on this client, and my man was a U.S. Army Ranger, but not just an Army Ranger. He was a uh, close combat uh, instructor for the Army Rangers, which means this dude's job as a United States Special Forces operator was to A, kick the crap out of other people, and B, teach his fellow Special Forces dudes how to kick the crap out of people. So, being the smartest guy in the world, I was like, oh, and his, his business uh, was like self-defense stuff, you know, like videos and stuff on how to beat each other up. So, being a genius with a capital J, I was like, look, man, I want you to let me be the bad guy in the self-defense DVDs, because it sounds fun, right? I mean, it sounds like it'd be cool. And um, I didn't know, you know, how heavy this dude was. So anyway, he's like, yeah, sure. So the day comes to film the stuff. And I'm like, and I don't know anything about this kind of stuff. You know what I mean? I'm not like a, a self-defense dude. Like, I'm good at running. I'm good at talking trash, you know? Um, but that's all I got, right? So like, comes day, it comes the time to shoot the product. And I'm like, all right, dude, what do you want to do? And he's like, well, dude, just pretend like you're going to attack me. And so I do, which I have no idea what I'm doing. He's like, no, like really like go at it. And I'm like, all right, man, I'm gonna go. I'm thinking, you know, I'm gonna hit this guy and he's gonna get mad at me. Dude, all right, so I would go and I would pretend like I'm gonna attack this guy. And then finally I was like, all right, I'm literally going to attack this guy every single time, all right? And this was all day, this was like nine hours of shooting. Every single time I'm like, end up on the ground. The guy's knee yeah. is in my neck or like his like, foot is literally on my face or his thumbs are in my eyeball and I'm just getting murdered by this dude. And I'm like, good Lord, why in the hell did I volunteer? I had to leave that. To do, it was horrible. I was like, what the, what was I thinking? Like, yeah, okay, why don't you just come kick the crack out of me all freaking day. Um, I'm pretty sure he'd gotten the bill prior to our shooting. I think that's what happened. Um, so anyway, this dude's like beating the hell out of me all day. It's actually, it was kind of fun, but it, it hurt, man. Like, so after, after the shoot, like, cause everything with these dudes is like, they grab you by the throat and kill you. So after the shoot, I was like, everything was black and blue, you know, it was gnarly. Um, but one thing I learned from him was I was like, dude, you, it's so aggressive, you know? And he goes, yeah, uh, when it's real, because they're like, you know, I mean, they're special forces guys, so they don't just get out and like, okay, enemy soldier, let's meet in the ring and you put our gloves on. Like, they try to kill each other, you know? So he's like, look, dude, when it's real and we're not trying to, like, do this as a sport, you always have to be moving forward. You always have to be the aggressor. There is no defense. He's like, look, man, it is offense, 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 then more offense, and then there's some more offense on top of that. And I think that uh, business is really the same way, but without the violence and killing of anybody, right? So what I learned from the dude was always be moving forward. It was interesting because in the, in the training stuff, you know, which I'm not even close to an expert of this stuff. I was just the bad guy in the DVD, but you learn a lot when this dude beats the hell out of you all day. Um, what I learned is that they will immediately come in close and immediately be moving towards you the entire time. So if you're the bad guy, like they're coming in closer, immediately moving towards you. You're getting punched constantly and you're always like moving backwards until you're on the ground and they're killing you, right? So the business application is, <laughs> and I really need to find a way that makes it sound a lot friendlier because we, of course, you know, metaphorically and even literally obviously never want to do anyone any harm or anything. But the business application is always be moving forward, right? Every single day be moving forward. And with this dude, it was never like, okay, you know, we're going to get into defensive position or whatever. It was 100% pure forward, forward momentum all the time. So like, how do you do it from a, a practical standpoint in business, right? And the thing is, is if you'll do these things, three things every single day, I think you're going to be solid. Oh, 
I should make an offer, by the way. One of those three things is make an offer. Listen, uh, we've been having really, really good luck with a strategy called intent-based branding. That's I'm actually doing intent-based branding right now. If you'd like to learn how to do it in your business, I put up a 23-minute video for you. You don't need to opt in for it or anything. Go to kernclass.com. A little jet-lagged here. almost forgot my own domain name. kernclass.com. I don't need your email address or anything, man. It's just a video on a web page. Duct taped it on there for you. It's good. I think you'll like it. Okay, so <clears throat> there are three things we can do every single day to always be moving forward, right? It's a big deal to always be moving forward. So thing number one is to always be providing value to uh, your marketplace. And I believe this to be very important because I think, I don't know if I can concretely prove it or anything, but I think that the amount of money that we make is going to be directly proportional to the amount of value we put forth in the world. Kind of makes sense. I don't know. I mean, it seems kind of logical. You know, what do you think? So that's thing number one. Always add value to your marketplace, which is really great because not a lot of people do it. Uh, and that's awesome. So when you do it, people are like, I can't believe how nice this person is. You're like, really? Great. So, you know, always add value. That's thing number one. All right. Thing number two is always make offers. So in our company, we are making an offer to the marketplace every single day. I'm here in uh, Florida right now uh, attending the 10X Growth Con. Well, I'll be there in the morning. You know, it's the day before the conference right now. And uh, real stoked to go. And uh, I issued a directive to the team that I want 10 offers posted on social media every single day between now and February 4th. By the way, if you're interested in taking that class, again, go to kernclass.com. There's a 23 minute overview of what it's about, how I'm doing intent-based branding. If you like that overview, then take the class. And if you don't, then don't. Everything's cool, right? So I was like, dudes, 10 offers a day, right? So now we have this idea, or that it kind of can become a conflict of, all right, Dude, I mean, you're talking about making 10 offers a day, you know, you're going to burn your audience out. And uh, that would be true if the offers weren't always wrapped in valuable content, right? So if you imagine the offer is the core of the activity, the wrapper around it is always going to be value and content, kind of like what we're doing right now, you know, I'm like, hopefully giving you some value with this whole concept of always be moving forward right and then i'm making the offer which is say hey, you know if you want to take the class go to currentclass.com and check it out so it doesn't need to be an obnoxious you know buy my stuff or the end of the world is nigh it doesn't need to be anything like that it's just kind of laid back offer making it works pretty good now the third thing which i don't really talk to y'all about very much or out my other hand holding this thing here the third thing is follow-up it's so big man it's crazy it's so much money is in the follow-up so few people actually do it. It is, really, I'm glad, really. I mean, y'all don't tell anybody, right? I shouldn't say, I should be like, the last thing you wanna do is follow up. People hate that. But <laughs> really, like if you just follow up with the people that looked at your offers or engaged with your offers, you're probably going to get more money. We did, um, yesterday, we did 40, oh, what the hell's the number? 14, about 43 grand in sales for our branding class. Of that, 29,991 uh, came from follow-up. And the way we do the follow-up on that is if someone starts to, uh, you know, order the thing or whatever and they don't, which most people don't, it's called direct response. You know, if most people did order, we would have a 51% conversion rate. Pretty good, but uh, not that good. You know, um, so most people don't. And so we follow up with them. That's how we follow up. So the fortune is really there, all right? So if you want to think about the three things you can do every single day to always be moving forward, like the psychotic evil army ranger from hell taught me, <laughs> I'm talking to you, Captain. All right, I'm still, I'm still injured. It's been like eight years and I still have nightmares about it. Uh, thing number one, always add value. All right. Thing number two, always make offers. Thing number three, follow up with the people that expressed interest in the offers. Do it every day. You're probably going to make more money than, uh, than you're, you would make if you didn't do it. All right. So if you like this kind of stuff and you want a systemized way to do that and you want to do it in a way that like is really nice to people and actually provides value and builds a brand at the same time, AKA makes you uh, like all internet famous in your niche, go to kernclass.com. Again, it's not one of those things where you got to opt in and then I'm going to email you 750 billion times. Um, it's a video on a web page, and it's a pretty damn good video at that. And at the end of the video, it'll say, hey, here's what's in the class, and if you want to take the class, then sign up. Mm -hmm.